What I love mostly uh, about just walking around the morning is being able to greet everyone. Did you have a good birthday? I feel like how you start your day often defines how your day is going to go. That's why um, I try to walk around, smile, you know, greet students. I just want them to know that I'm happy they're here and I want them to be happy that they're here as well. I knew from the very beginning that she was going to be a leader, a strong, kind leader. Um, when we would do walkthroughs at the um, high school and she was a teacher, she was always an integral part of the class. She was never that sage on the stage. She truly held her students to high standards. So even as a first year teacher, she took leadership. So I knew I could go to Tisha if we needed something done. I actually was hired um, to be the first principal at Oakhurst STEAM Academy. What excited me about the school was that we could make it whatever we wanted to make it, that there were no rules out there about what the school had to be. When I first talked to Dr. Green, she told me about the whole STEAM initiative and how it was going to be really focused on students learning authentically rather than just learning from books and curriculum. The idea is for students to understand um, sort of the interrelation between um, the STEAM areas. So for example in fifth grade um, one of their first integrated projects is a Keepa cube and so the students have to design and create or engineer a, an ice uh, a, a cube or some kind of container that will keep an ice cube cold the longest. Through these projects students are problem solving. They are thinking critically. In some schools you you do teach just in a scripted way and at this school like we're really encouraged to think outside of that and to actually come in with our own materials. Oftentimes um, early on unfortunately students are told they're good at something or they're just you know this is just not your subject. We consider our students everything so every morning on the news we give them a different title so this week they're coders, next week they'll be mathematicians, the week after they'll be artists um, and, and instead of looking at what you can't do look at what you can do. She's definitely like involved in every last piece of what we do at the school no matter how big or small so it's really easy to see her as a leader that you know I want to follow. My belief is that um, I am never above any job or role here so if I have to be a custodian today or a secretary today or a teacher or um, anything, that's, that's my role. But I want teachers to understand that I'm their advocate, I'm their colleague, um, not just their leader, and that um, I'm here to serve them. If it weren't for them, they're my clients, I wouldn't have a job and I wouldn't do this. And I have to say I have the best clients on earth. I just can't imagine uh, doing anything else or being anywhere else. Mm -hmm.